Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams are noted for their pass offenses, and rightfully so. They're among the best in the country, and they put up huge numbers. But if you watch these clubs carefully, you'll see that they pass the lead and run to win. Maybe a little bit more balanced than people realize, and sometimes you can't get caught up always looking for the pass because that's exactly when you'll get burned by the run. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And down he goes at the 26. Harper's in a running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but... He doesn't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 26. it out to about the 36. You'd like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. That's a great tackle at the 42. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Black five, black five, orange three, orange. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it 31. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. Well, you know this defense is going to come after you. There's no doubt about that. And as an offense, you have to be prepared for that. In that play, they made them pay for blitzing. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. And he throws it away. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch and a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. On play action, under heavy pressure. And he's tackled right around the 16-yard line. A gain of 14 yards. First down. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Here he goes. And they'll score. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he hits the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to take a look at the Pac-12 where quarterback rule. And for California, they've now dropped three in a row. Stanford finishes it off 31-24.
That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. One, Schultz two, three, has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country, and you and I have been looking forward to this. Fowler's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played, really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to at least shut him down. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. Third down, nine to go. Ball on their own 25. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. High, awaiting the return. Out of bounds around the 46-yard line. Kirk, you went through this as a player. It's tough going on the road. A lot of different things you have to deal with. Yeah, not to mention the crowd is obvious, but it's just you get into a different routine as far as you, you got to catch your flight as a team. The bus ride is different. You're sleeping in a hotel. There are a lot of distractions and a lot of things that can go against you. But one thing that helps you is to take the ball, move it down the field, and get points on the board in that opening drive. Now they come out this second time. Let's see if they can do it again. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down around the 47-yard line. For a gain of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And they get the sack. So they set the safety on the blitz, and he'll get credit for the sack. Nobody was left to pick him up. He disguised the blitz very well and really made a nice play on the quarterback. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He's tackled at the 28. Pretty good job by the return man there. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Around the 41 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Oh, here we go. They come out in a five wide set. Wants to go long and does. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Drop down at the 49-yard line. Go 
throws it in a hurry. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 49-yard line, first down. They come out on an empty backfield. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Larry, Larry, Larry. Choose the mic. Watch the pass. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires to the wide out. First down. First down. From the 35-yard line. First down. He gets rid of this one. It's the ninth play of the drive. Mike two, Mike two. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Go ahead, two, go. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. That's a real danger. If he leaves too many passes short like that, sooner or later, they're going to end up in the wrong set of hands. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Petway picks up seven yards with that catch. Fourth down. Let's go, hurry up, on the ball, on the ball. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. Seven, nothing. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Tigers were ranked 19th, and after that bitterly disappointing performance, they can expect to be unranked next week. And for Boston College, as time runs out, Clock on zero, they score! Boston College takes the one-point win. In other games, let's check in and see what's happening in Miami. And for Wiggins, he finishes with a pair of touchdown passes. The Golden Panthers win it by three. 7-3 in this one. Williams has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20 sideline and the kicker comes in to make the tackle momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays Morales gets the carry he makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line that brings up second and nine From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Red two, yellow three. Yellow three. Four yards gained. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. throws they're going to be forced to punt it away here great hold by the defense they were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well Dixon to punt Weiss takes it to 15 gets to about the 24 yard line you know what it might not have been a lot but they moved the ball forward Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Now he tries to buy some time, and down he goes at the 27-yard line. That makes it 
second and six. From their own 27 yard line. Second down. Quick pass. And they make the stop right around the 42 yard line. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. It's second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 44 yard line. Watch two. Watch two. Watch two. <laughs> Scrambling around. And he dives forward. Fowler gets about four yards on the play. receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. All on the 42. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Five wide. He scrambled. Run down in the open field. He got three yards there on the scramble. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Now he's flushed and they got it. Aggressive call there to send the corner and it paid off. Boy, did he get in there quick or what? is the punter. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. had it intercepted. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 20 yard line. Fires it out. They'll bring him down around the 32 yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. With a quick throw. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Barrett makes the tackle at the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He fights forward to about the seven. The running back gets two on the carry. When you've got the experience that this safety has, you can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. He's 
taken down around the four-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. That makes it 30 there. This is a big play for the offense that can put them up by two scores. It's third down from the four. It's up, and it's through the uprights. A quick update now. Here's Reed. Let's take a peek at what's going on in Boca Raton. And for Tulsa, let's keep an eye on this game where a major surprise could be brewing. Robinson's arm is working its magic. He's thrown a touchdown pass in this one. And Bayview's on top, 14-10. 10-3 game here. Schultz is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. Tackled right around the 46-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. Hit and taken down. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Yellow three. We go. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Cooper was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 48 yard line. Second down. Throw. Right down, right around the 40. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. He's taken down around the 40 yard line. Sullivan on the tackle at the 40 yard line. That'll make it fourth, fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. A great first half comes to a close. 10-6. First half in a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. There was a defender right in his face that time. You have a great concentration by the receiver to come away with this ball. Nice job. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. 
He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 35. They come out in a five-wide set. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Throws on the move, and it's intercepted. And he tackles him hard at the 45-yard line. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts and in getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Nice grab on the play. And he hits him hard at the 31. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Back two. Back two. Back two. Take Throws completely stopped immediately. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Completes it across the middle. And he's tackled right away. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 11. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 11. And two. Orange three. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he is drilled at the four. Johnson with the tackle at the four-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. He's on the run, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. What a touchdown. He didn't see anyone open, so he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk the safeties up when they've got the ball down near the goal line. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point, and he hits the PAT. A six-play, 44-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 13-10. Williams has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Taken down by the kicker. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Field. 
Second and 15. Ball to 29. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Weiss will be the return man. And for Hall, he certainly made an impact. Well, this guy to me is just a textbook example of leading by example. I'm talking about all throughout winter conditioning, spring ball, throughout the summer. The coaches tell us this was the guy. This is the guy that defined this football team. So it's no wonder that he stepped out and had a game like this. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. I don't care if this offensive line uses two or even three guys to stop him. There's nothing they can do to stop this individual performance that he's putting on display today. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. They come out in an empty backfield. Black five, black five, six, eight. Gets it out quickly. And he's tackled at the 38. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And they got him. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Elliott to punt. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires to his fullback, no good. He sailed that one high. That's not a bad incompletion because he saw the blitz coming and just got rid of the ball to avoid losing yardage. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 43. That makes it 37. They make the stop at the 46. Dixon awaits the snap. He's out to the 30. Boy, aren't they? It's so full of energy. It's almost scary. Great job by the defense tonight. Getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line. Well, sacks only tell one part of the story. The scoreboard tells the most important part. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Catches it, and that's all. They get five yards on the play. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 38. 
And down he goes around the 46 yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's sacked. And for Hall, his performance today has set a new team record for sacks in a single game. Uh, he's really forced them to change their offensive schemes with how disruptive he's been. That's influencing a game. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They'll spread the field with five wide. And two. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. And for Hall, he's very close to the record for sacks in a game. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch Five wide. Mike two. Mike two. Go, go, go. They'll bring him down at about the 49. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. This is really kind of shocking. You're talking about one of the top offenses in the country, and they can't get anything going today. Well, they can't run the football. They can't throw. There, there just isn't any continuity there at all. you got to give credit to this defense for the way they've stepped up and stopped this powerful offense today. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Green nine, green nine. Green 15. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll bring up 32. He's tackled at the 49. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Fires out quick, it's picked off. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Pressured and brought down. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. They come out in a five-wide set. He scrambled, and he can't escape again. Well, if they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. Third and long now after the sack. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's 
taken down around the 47 yard line. And of 11 on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Well, I can say this much, Kirk. At least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Uh, it is a close game, and neither team has been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up the scoreboard. And at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Tackle right around the 30. That's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. From their own 30-yard line, it's first down. down around the 43 yard line you like to see a team having success like this running the football it can really open up things for the offense the lineman got a little ahead of the snap count here's the call ball start offense that penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's down. bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Less than three minutes in the game. And two, three, go. Three. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Throws a bullet. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. The defense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. First and 10, ball on the 31. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Mike two, Mike two. Watch three, watch three. Watch three. Oh. He's scrambling. And for Ferguson, here's another addition to a career full of sacks. They'll be sure to bring him up in the conversation about the most dominant defenders in school history. He's earned his spot here. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. The defense calls a timeout, and that was their last timeout. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. It's up. 
And they come away empty-handed. It's hard for a kicker to stay loose on the sidelines. He isn't running around like these offensive and defensive players. And in conditions like this, the stationary bike can only do so much to get your body to heat up. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Game 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Spikes the ball. Spikes the ball. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 45. All the game of 14 yards. That makes it Kill, kill! Seven. Panther two! Check, check, check. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green eight! Go! Nice run up the middle. Game seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Yellow, kill, 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 Yellow, three! And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gives it right side. Runs right for a nice gain. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First kill, kill! Panther two! A little over a minute in the game. Swings it out there incomplete. Morales is the intended receiver on the play. This is the eighth play of this drive. Seven-yard gain that time from the play-action pass completion. Third down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start, offense. Low scoring ball game, Kirk. You know, it only takes one big Still run, one game. big pass play, something like that, or maybe in the return game that could bust this thing wide open. So they bring out the kicker to tie this game up. A make will most likely mean overtime, a miss, and well, that's it. The kick is away, and this is no good. He didn't have the leg for it. And he's tackled at about the 17-yard line. You know, these are the times that it's difficult to be a kicker. I just hope this guy can bounce back from this. These are the types of misses that can linger for a long time. Double tight, guys, double tight. Two down, two down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. 